I'd like to introduce our next speaker. Mark Lowe is our Motor Vehicle Division Director. And really this workshop came uh, about as a conversation between Mark and his staff and uh, the staff in the Research Bureau. So here's Mark Lowe. Um, Sandra and Shashi asked me to talk a little bit about uh, context and objectives. Uh, and uh, I thought, you know, you know what? What is the context? What we're here, and I'm glad to hear Sandra mention the diversity of the group because, um, you know, I'm I've only been motor vehicle direct director uh, for about six months, a little over six months, and uh, before that I was general counsel for the DOT uh, for about a year, and before that uh, I was in private practice as an attorney for uh, for 15 years. And you know, what kind of context do we bring to this with that diverse group? I have one perspective from that. I think you folks have a lot of other perspectives. We all have different perspectives to share from the diversity that we have. So um, from, from that, I think what we're trying to do is get that sharing going and, and, uh, and, and cross-reference our diversity and our experiences and perspectives and that kind of thing. So getting back to uh, just sharing some of my perspective, you know, it's, it's really interesting to me when people talk about distracted driving, and, and it's been extremely... Um, uh, there's been a lot of attention paid to it in, in the last couple of years, but when I look back at the lawsuits that we've handled, the accidents we've handled, distracted driving is so much a part of all of those, all of the rear end collisions and the, you know, the reasons that somebody didn't see something that was plainly in front of them. Although most people won't admit it, there was some factor of distracted driving there. It was always interesting to me when somebody would run right into something that was in, in plain sight of them. Um, if you were to ask them in deposition what they were doing, their hands were on the wheel exactly as they were told. They were always driving within speed limit. The radio wasn't on. They were never eating anything. They didn't have anything in their hands. They weren't on a cell phone. They didn't have a soda. We know those things aren't true. So distracted driving is all around us. Um, you know, some of the things we talk about now with cell phones and texts, I think, are more ubiquitous. They're more pressing. They're, they're more clearly uh, factors of, dis of, of distracted driving. But but certainly what we've seen is that distracted driving has been a continuous thing, you know, at least in the 15 years that I was doing personal injury litigation. But I looked at our agenda today and you know, we looked at older drivers, younger drivers, uh, drinking drivers, people who've exhibited uh, poor judgment. We certainly saw all of those things uh, on a continual basis. Um, well, you can see from all of these things how these highway safety issues affect people personally and they affect the drivers and they affect their independence, they affect the lives and property of others. Um, they affect really our whole social well-being because all of these folks who've been injured and damaged all had opportunities to be uh, productive and healthy uh, persons. So I think the real charge is, you know, all of us are affecting and improving these things and what a, what a great and important thing that is and what a reason to get charged up about what we're doing today. So thank you very much.